Hello, this is Megan Horniman, the Chief Investment Officer for Verdant's Capital Advisors. We're coming to you today, Friday, March 1st, with our regular segment of Markets with Megan. And we're going to talk about some of the economic data that we received this morning. We got a lot of information on the consumer. Um, the most, ex- the biggest report that we got today was on the ISM manufacturing report. It comes out the first day of every month, and this measures the health of our manufacturing sector. The ISM manufacturing index is typically a recession indicator as well. Um, When this index falls below 50, that means that the manufacturing sector is contracting. And this index um, unfortunately came in lower than expected, and it's been contracting now or in contraction territory for 16 consecutive months. This is the longest consecutive streak that we've seen this index in contraction territory since 2001. Um, Let's dig into some of these details. The majority of the categories are also in contraction territory, but the biggest declines were in new orders. Um, So this is a negative from an economic standpoint. It was the biggest percentage drop we've seen since September of 2022. The employment component, um, this is also a negative for the the labor market, specifically in the manufacturing sector. That is at the lowest level. Um, It's hovering near the pandemic levels that we saw. So very weak from an employment standpoint. The one area of this that did is is still elevated and above um, the you know, level between contraction and expansion is the prices paid and that's inflationary. So this is something that's concerning um, to us. It's something that should concern the Federal Reserve because the economy is slowing. The data we've seen is that it's slowing pretty rapidly, but all of these inflation indicators are still stuck. Um, we've had a lot of progression here in um, in inflation, but we're kind of showing some signs of stalling here where we are. So when you look at that component, that now has been above 50, so in expansion in territory or rising for the past two consecutive months. And that's after we saw it contracting for eight consecutive months. So inflation is going the wrong way um, from a manufacturing standpoint. We'll continue to um, be back next week with some more economic data. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to podcasts at verdens.com. Thank you.